The celebrity makeup artist Mary Phillips is known for creating a base that looks like it's been airbrushed on. I mean, look at these girls. They look incredible. You can tell that there's makeup on, but you don't know where it starts or ends. Her base routine recently went viral and I'm gonna follow it today because I want that airbrush glam for myself. And together we can see whether it works. Okay, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit. None of the girls that Mary works on have discoloration or dark spots, so I'm gonna correct those first. All of those girls look like they're wearing one layer of makeup only, so I have to be quite careful about not layering the makeup over and over again. So for this reason, I'm going to mix my orange color corrector with my skin colored concealer and just go over any hyperpigmentation or scarring. This is a technique called underpainting. So I'm gonna take an angled contour brush and my RCMA palette. I'm gonna start with the darker shade and just contour my cheeks and forehead and jawline. I'm gonna do a tiny dot of liquid blush. This one by Made by Mitchell. A little goes a really long way. As you can see with both the cheek contour and the blush, I place them quite high so that we can give our face a bit of a lift. Now I'm going to take my Pat McGrath concealer and a concealer brush. Just highlight underneath my eyes, my forehead, above my lip and my chin and also below my cheekbone. Now I'm just going to blend the concealer out using a beauty blender. Okay, I look like a clown right now, that's true, but it's all coming together, trust me. Okay, now I've underpainted. We're gonna take one of the middle shades and using a foundation brush, I'm just going to buff it over the makeup that I've done strategically. Do you see how this side of my face looks so much more seamless than this side? I'm going to go ahead and set the inner part of my face with a light powder. I'm using a tiny bit because I don't want to ruin that seamless, can't tell where the makeup starts and ends vibe that we're going for. I'm just going over the perimeter of my face with a bronzer. The iconic nude shade is like my all-time favorite nude lip liner. I just love it so much. It's creamy but not too creamy and it looks so pretty. This is the final look. I think it's fair to say that underpainting does work, especially if you want a more, I wouldn't say natural looking base, but a base where you can't really tell exactly what products have been used and where. This would be definitely the technique for you. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you taking the time to watch my videos. If you have any suggestions or things that you wanna see from me, please let me know in the comments. Please also like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. And once you're subscribed, press the notification bell so that you know exactly when I post a video. I've got some fun stuff coming up, so stay tuned. Thank you so much again. Have a fantastic week and I will see you next Friday. Bye.